Let's make some lemonade while we're walking out of this. Hey everybody, Noodle Survival. This is Heidi. How do I tell if the sumac is ready? Let's give it a nibble. It's ready. Those little berries are exceptionally sour, but really good. Sumac. The difference between good sumac and poison sumac is that the poison sumac has a cluster of berries that are white or greenish and they sag down like that. The good sumac right there has those uh, beautiful burgundy ber berries that stand straight up. Poison sumac has reddish brown stems while the uh, good sumac is uh, green grayish. Here we're gonna strip the berries from the bob and that's what this is called a sumac bob and trying to make sure to get out as many of those stems as possible. As you can see, I didn't do such a great job, but that'll be good enough. Now for every handful of berries, two cups of water. I had about two good handfuls of berries here, so I used four cups of water. Now we're gonna take a potato masher and just sit here and mash, mash, mash. I did this for about five minutes, making sure to get it good and crunched up. Cover it up and refrigerate it overnight. And for once, I'm not gonna make you all wait. And here we are the next day. Now it's really hard to see from the video, but this has a very beautiful pink color to it, which is really nice. So first we're gonna strain it through a metal strainer and then next through a coffee filter. We need it right now. And I got that strained out pretty well. There's just a little bit of sediment at the bottom. I'm not worried about it. Pour it into my cup and then add a little bit of uh, stevia to it, artificial sweetener. So here we go. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that tastes just like the best pink lemonade you've ever had in your life. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, that's the best lemonade I've ever had. By gosh, go out and make you some sumac lemonade. Everybody stay safe and use that noodle.